cannot rule the world without taking control of money. In order to take control of money, the first thing that you do is to replace real money with paper money. The second thing that you do is you, you de-link paper from gold. Mm -hmm. And when paper no longer has any link with gold, you now start attacking the paper so it goes down and down and down and down. When the paper money goes down and down, there is number one a massive transfer of wealth from the masses to that blood-sucking predatory elite. The second thing that happens is that wages lose value because prices are going up. Hmm? As wages lose value, people are now imprisoned in something called slave wages. Slave wages. Slave wages. And when a man is imprisoned in slave wages, you have in fact enslaved him. When you enslave a people, you can now control them. You can now rule them. I hope someone can teach this lesson to Yasser Arafat. Around the world today, because of this kind of riba, riba involving money, which is not real money, it's paper money, around the world today, not only does wealth no longer circulate through the economy, it's worse than that. Not only are the rich now permanently rich, it's worse than that. Not only are the poor now permanently poor, it's worse than that. The rich have now grown filthy rich. And the poor have now been reduced to miserable destitution, groveling destitution, by a people who go to church on Sunday morning and pretend that they're worshipping a white man who is a god of theirs. They're not even worshipping the white man who is a god. And then the others will say, no, he's not a white man, he's a black man. And then the others say, no, it's, it's discriminated to say God is a man. God should be both a man and a woman. <laughs> yeah, that's the debate in the United States now. God is both a man and a woman. And probably tomorrow you're going to hear God is only a woman. <laughs> huh? Do you know what is the state of Indonesia today? while we eating halwa? Do you know what happened three years ago in Indonesia to the Indonesian rupiah? Hmm? The IMF had just issued a clean bill of health to Indonesia. An economy which is strong, healthy. Hmm? Indonesia is a major oil producing country. Indonesia has land which is very fertile. Mm -hmm. Indonesia has a big population, energetic population. Indonesia is a, has an abundance of mineral resources. There's no reason why Indonesia should be poor. And the IMF says that Indonesia has a very healthy economy. Suddenly, suddenly, the Indonesian rupiah is attacked by the blood-sucking predatory elite in the banking centers around the world. And the Indonesian rupiah falls. It is trading at about 8,000. And within a period of one day, one week, it, it becomes 20,000 rupiah to one US dollar. In the process of bringing down the Indonesian money, they were able to rip off Indonesia of probably more than half of its wealth. Half of Indonesia is automatically, instantaneously reduced to below the poverty line. Half of Indonesia. And guess what is the poverty line? $29 a month. <laughs> $29 a month. Because we accepted paper as money. The reason why they attacked Indonesia is because the Indonesian loves Islam. He's not passive in his Islam. He has an activism inside of him. He's prepared to fight. He's prepared to die. That's the Indonesian. So you have to demonize them. 
use the media to demonize them, look, make them look bad, and then secondly, you've got to cut their throat from inside, reduce them to destitution and poverty, groveling poverty, and then you imprison them in slavery. The same thing is happening with Turkey. The same thing. Do you know what is the state of the Turkish money now? Thanks to a man named Mustafa Kemal, who declared that the Ottoman Islamic State was backward, and we must now become copycats of Europe, and establishes the modern Turkish state, which is a secular state. Okay, fine. Where has your Turkish secular state led you? What is the state of your economy? Come on, Mustafa, come out, talk. Do you know what is the state of the Turkish lira now? Thanks to these who have betrayed Islam. Does anyone know the Turkish lira? What is the Turkish lira trading at? Anybody knows? One point five. One point five. One and a half million Turkish liras is equivalent to one US dollar. And they're still eating halwa. They're still eating halwa. In other words, the masses in Turkey who are holding on to Islam, not those who are drinking the whiskey, because they're on the gravy train. Those who are holding on to Islam, those in the villages, the peasants, in the agricultural economy, these people are now reduced to the most groveling destitution and poverty, which is slavery. So they have no capacity to resist a Turkish military which now establishes a defense treaty with Israel. No, can't do it. The Turkish army, the Ottoman army, which had the whole of Europe shivering and shaking. Yes, the most powerful armed force in the world. Today, Guess what the Turks are doing? Turkish young men who used to be in the Ottoman army now selling gas in New, jo New York, in Long Island. Every gas station, you work 12 hours, 12 hour shifts. You work like a dog and you pay dog wages. You work like a dog and you pay dog wages all over the United States. Turkish young men. This is where we are today because of riba. It's worse than that. My daughter, yes, and my sister, yes, and my mother, yes, and your daughter and your sister and your mother is also now on sale for one dollar. For one dollar, you can buy her. She's on sale. She has nothing else to do, to get roti, to get bread, but to sell her body. And when her body is being ripped apart by those who now attack her like savages to fulfill their lust for one dollar, and when the tears come down her eyes, what will Allah do to those who are still eating halwa? This is Riba today. We have introduced you to the Riba which is the lending of money on interest. We've introduced you to the Riba which is the rip-off. We have said in previous lectures that you could buy a chicken now with the salary that you used to buy a camel. But there's a tomorrow which is coming when you can't even buy a chicken. You can only use it as wallpaper. Wallpaper. In other words, we are anticipating the total collapse of this international monetary system. This fraudulent international monetary system, which was put in place to rip us off, and which has now ripped us off, and so now this collapses.
September the 11th, September the 11th could have provoked the collapse of the US dollar and the US economy. It could have done it if the aircraft which was supposed to kill the President of the United States had not crashed in Pennsylvania. Hmm? They attacked America because their objective is to become the ruling state in the world. They attack America and they put the blame on us. But guess what? Guess what? There will be another day in another court before another judge. And on that day, CNN won't be able to bray like a jackass anymore. <laughs> their excellencies and their